fourth tutorial in the series of Oracle Cloud. So in this tutorial we are going to see that how we can mount the bucket as a as a storage on a, a virtual instance. So for this we need a prerequisition that is a bucket. So if I go to the bucket in the last video tutorial we have created this Moodle POC bucket. So now the task is that we are going to use this bucket as a storage object, as a storage device on my my virtual instance. So for that, first we need to install a software called S3FS. So for that, first we need to run the command sudo apt get update, then sudo apt get install s3fs this is a ubuntu 12.04 lts version okay now what we need to do is in oracle cloud infrastructures we need to click on the profile pictures then click on the user setting and there we need to go to the customer secret key and then generate is secret key give it a name for like um, access model POC bucket okay now this is the generated key now this key is show only the one time so we need to copy this and paste somewhere else So this is my secret key. Now I need to close this and here you can see your access key. So just copy this also, we require the both one and paste somewhere else. Perfect. Okay, now what we need to do is um, we need to open our terminal again and we have to export this two value in a file. Okay, so let me first. create that value that we need to export into a file basically that's a access key colon secret key so here we need to type is echo and then we need to type the access key and the secret key We need to redirect it to where is my home folder into a file called PSWD S3FS. I just give it a name, you can give it another name that does not any big issue. Now we need to change the mode of this file. So change the mode of permission on the file 600 donor home is WD S3 FS. Perfect. Now for the testing just make a bucket. So I create a bucket on a root sudo mkdir mm. moodle 
pocket perfect we need to issue this command so let me brief this command one by one so first we use a sudo then s3fs this is my source bucket which we have created on Oracle Cloud this is my destination where I want to mount this bucket on my local systems this is my endpoint which is AP South Mumbai 1 which is a region and my password file from where it take the access and the secret key and this is a URL so URL is the first is your namespace dot compact dot object store and then the region dot cloud oracle cloud dot com and these are the other no multi parts use path request styles and use and o allow user so this is the complete command that we need to issue so let's issue this command and cross our finger that everything will work perfectly okay so we did not get any error so let's see if it is mounted or not first I use a command lsblk uh, no or df minus h yes so see we have successfully mount this bucket um, on our system so let's go to this bucket cd slash moodle bucket and let's just create a file okay so we have created a file sample file here now let's check that this file is uh, showing here or not refresh see it is showing here successfully perfect now the second part is that uh, we need to mount this bucket automatically when the system reboot right so for that we need to use a we need to enter into the fs tab file okay okay so let's start sudo nano fs tab uh oh sorry but this is basically sudo nano etc fs tab by my mistake so here you need to enter or mount this bucket into your virtual machine So the command is okay. So this is the command s3fs hash moodle poc bucket. This is my source bucket. This is the target where I want to use this, and this is the fuse command and you need a space and then underscore net tab allow others use path request styles and then you need to give the password file locations and the URL and at the end zero zero okay so this is the complete command that we need to add in our FS tab to enable the auto mount of um, uh, object storage buckets in our instance so let's save this and just reboot this machine and see if it's auto mount or not first let's check it is mounted or not yeah it's still mounted so let's do sudo reboot
Okay, just wait for a few minutes. Allow its reboot. So the system has now rebooted. Now let's check that it's auto mounted our bucket or not. Yep, see, this is automatically mounted. So this is how we mount the object storage bucket of Oracle Cloud in in, in, in a Linux instance and we can use it as an, an object device. I hope you like this video and if you like please like give a thumbs up sh uh, and share this video more uh, to other users and please don't forget to subscribe my channel I will bring more informative tutorial in near future also thank you bye and take care